hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you a new functionality i implemented in mesh morpher which allow us to create morph targets from animation curves so let's get to it and see how it uh, how this works right uh, we're gonna load the metahuman and uh, we will go to the poser by clicking create from pose this is uh, where uh, uh, we can handle uh, uh, everything related to skeletons animations and stuff like that right so we're gonna open the arkit uh, mapping uh, animation for our meta humans and uh, we will see that uh, the animation curves list has been populated let me let me move this so we can see a little bit better so here we have all uh, animation curves right it's a lot of them so uh, if uh, you plan to to create morph targets from all these uh, animation curves you have to be patient it will take uh, a lot of time right so uh, this is how it works so you can enable uh, you can enable uh, animation curves and if you want you can uh, create a morph target or you can bake it or whatever right but in our case here we want to create morph targets from these curves so we are we are gonna select uh, just for this experiment we're gonna select only four of them uh, we don't want to spend too much time waiting for this to be completed and we go to uh, this button to morph targets right we click on it and uh, mesh morpher will uh, uh, extract uh, uh, the animation curve data to a morph target. This is kind of a heavy process and uh, it will take a while. Uh, there are like 300 something, uh, 323 or something uh, curves. So you have to be patient if you want to extract all of them, right? So keep that in mind. Uh, let's uh, let's see uh, the extraction has been completed and uh, if uh, we go to the main window in uh, mesh morpher we will see that we have uh, new, four new morph targets and uh, we can click on them right now now we can click and edit them and do whatever they are just basic morph targets so uh, let's see how it works for this uh, for morph targets and then i'm gonna show you how you can change this uh, suffix evaluated curve and uh, you can also add a prefix to the naming right so let's see the last one and uh, that's it morph targets have been created right and if you want to change uh, the suffix and the prefix you go to edit settings and uh, here you have uh, evaluated curve suffix and you can change it change it uh, to whatever you can also add uh, a prefix new curve whatever you can do uh, anything you want right so if i go back here and uh, create uh, a morph target from this curve just wait a little bit okay and if I check in the list you can see how the naming works right so this is it for this video guys I hope you enjoy uh, this uh, new feature this feature is uh, available only on meshmorpher.com and yeah that's it see you around bye